Yo, 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 what up, man? Chris, I'm about checking back in, man. Back with the blog, man. Make sure that like button, that subscribe button, anyway, and I appreciate all the support, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. If you do want to continue to watch the Meat Ride blog, the link is in the description box. It is pinned as a top comment on this video right here, man. I fuck with y'all. I support y'all. Um, and I appreciate all the support. Uh, shout out to everybody. I'm still in LA right now. I'm about to head to uh, Phoenix. And um, I just want to say this real quick, man. Y'all niggas don't know how much I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all do not know how much I appreciate y'all. Y'all are holding these niggas accountable for being meat riders. <laughs> y'all are holding these niggas accountable. Y'all are in these niggas' comments on other videos, on no matter what they talking about, whether it's Cody. This nigga, Bill Collector, posted about Cody, and they are killing him talking about how much of a meat rider he is in the comment section. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Shout out to Vada Fly. He was flaming Black Compass in his video earlier today, man. Go run those numbers up. They mentioned him first. You know, they mentioned him, Battle Fanatic, a whole bunch of other people. They mad that these niggas are reacting to the Meat Ride blog. And that's what niggas do in this culture. They react to other things that go on. So shout out to Vada. Run those numbers up. Go check that blog out on his channel if you haven't. Um, but I just want to say how much I appreciate y'all, man. Whenever you do a blog like that, it's a lot of risk, man. That shit can go left. Niggas could not fuck with you. Niggas could be saying you tripping, you hating, whatever the case may be. And y'all niggas rock with that blog. Y'all supported it. And that mean a lot, man. <clears throat> that definitely, definitely means a lot. I want to talk about this Big K one and Cody. First of all, congratulations to Big K. Let me just say that. Congratulations to him. I did not think he was going to win if I'm keeping it real. I'm not saying he's not deserving. I didn't think he was going to win. I thought they was going to give it to Twerk because he kind of came on strong at the end of the year with the Mook battle. That was a good showing by him. It's one of the better battles on URL this past year. He also didn't really have any really bad battles this year, and he didn't really choke this year. So considering that, the Smack interview that where he was saying he was fucking up his blessings and everything, there was a lot of pressure on Twerk to do better this year, and I feel like he exceeded a lot of that. So... And sometimes the culture has a short memory. Twerk has the biggest battle at the end of the year where Big K had just had battled Big uh, Jazz, which is a big battle still, but it's not as big as the Mook battle. So I was like, you know, sometimes you can have recency bias. And I thought Twerk is probably going to win. And I'm already thinking it's a little bit of URL niggas in the, in the room or whatever. They probably going to go pro URL anyway. But Big K to win, I feel like... If you didn't have him number one, you probably should at least had him two. So I can't be mad that if you had him two and he ended up winning, I mean, it's a really a close between them two, you know, at the end of the day. I don't feel like he lost a battle. Uh, the Sharon battle is debatable. I do have him beating Rex. So for the most part, I got him kind of winning all his battles or they're debatable. So I can't be mad at that. And um, it just breaks down a lot of barriers, man. It shows you how powerful RBE was this past year. It shows you how um, good Big K has been in the last couple years, and it kills a stigma. And the stigma was if you weren't on URL, you were not going to be able to win Cody. And they kind of sent a message yesterday by saying, hey, if you have a good year, we're going to reward you. Now, don't get me wrong. Big K kind of ran away, was kind of running away with the lead in the beginning because he had the Mook battle and everything and the A-War battle. So he was kind of really, 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 really running away with it. But they could have went the other way. They could have went the other way in a room, man. It's a lot of pressure when you're doing that, man. Salute to Jay Black because I know that's not an easy job to do to organize people. And it's hard to be a judge and judge. Then you got to watch all the battles, first of all. So... I think it was good that they had different people in the room. That kind of helped because normally it's Tone Bro, it's Polo, it's Henny Man. It's very URL-ish in there. So I, the fact that they got different people, they got Chilla Jones, someone that's not on URL like that. Um, but every so often, it's just like they got people in the rooms that are open to other leagues. And I think that that's important. <clears throat> but... There's a lot of backlash, bro. There is a lot of fucking backlash. Niggas is not feeling this this Cody shit at all. So let me read you some of these messages. Bill Collector. I defended the Cody panel except J. Smo. I don't know whatever he got against J. Smo. For all for y'all to give a YouTube man that calls black women mud ducks and blocks all the black people the award over twerk and rock just to dodge the URL allegations. Battle rap may not be dead, but it's a joke. Glad I didn't compete this year. 
First of all, you ain't compete this year because your ass was meat riding. You let Surf tell you that RBE was the KFC. You let Verb tell you URL is stealing all their money. And you canceled all your contracts. I don't really know where you're going to battle at this year. I know that blog I put on you hurt. And I'm going to put that blog out separately on YouTube too. Called the Marked Out Bull. Because you really went out bad. You went from 100k to battling under niggas. You damn near under easy right now. And you, if easy don't book you for the, your biggest battle. I don't know where it's going to come from. You're doing one rounders on. What Gates of the Garden. I battle, you battled a one-rounder over there, or maybe it was a three-rounder, if I'm not mistaken. And your best look last year is bad news, and that came courtesy of Easy. So at the end of the day, you better hope that Henny Man Audio did not fuck up the trenches and did not fuck up Chrome 23, because I don't know where you're going to battle at, because you keep being in spaces, dick riding Verb. Verb is a made man and can battle anywhere he wants to, and he don't look like he want to battle anymore anyway. You ain't in that position. So at the end of the day, you got to worry about yourself. You, Yoshi, all these other people that be entertaining verb, y'all got to worry about your own careers. And all you've been doing is following niggas just to be cool with niggas in spaces. I can't believe you fell out with ARP over some KFC League shit. You really let them niggas talk you into leaving. This nigga gave you Hitman Holler, bro. He gave you Hitman Holler. And he tried to, he tried to do Rosenberg Raw on the platform. You took Rosenberg Raw to another league, Battle Academy, which I'm not mad. Shout out to Battle Academy, but it's not as big as RBE. And you did it on that league, and you won that battle, but look how you wasn't even able to parlay that into nothing else. You battled battle Rosenberg Raw, battled down after that because you went to bad news, and now who you going to battle, bro? You about to battle clean paper on Black Ice. Shout out to them niggas because I actually like Black Ice, but that is your next battle. You keep battling basically down. <laughs> like Hitman, Rum Nitty on URL, uh, She Happens on URL, Rosenberg Raw on Battle Academy, and then it's like bad news, clean paper. That's if the nigga shows up. Bro, you got, you, you really went out bad, bro. All to be cool with niggas in spaces. You let Surf control your decision. You let Verb control your decision. He posted, now, now you want to talk about Big K. He calling women mud ducks. And he blocks black people uh, on Twitter. First of all, he can block who he want to block. He don't block just black people. He block everybody that don't fuck with him at the end of the day. And the only thing about Bill Collector I don't be liking, bro, I never feel like he'll tell you this in, in a nigga face. I feel like if him and, and Big K was basically standing next to each other, he would never say this shit. So he posted that. Do you know these niggas hopped in the comments, bro, and was calling this nigga a meat rider? They were killing him in the comment section. Get, gotta get your meat riding down <laughs> Bill Collector meat riding again All kind of stuff like that I guess because of the twerking rock situation So Bill Collector was on that type time What what else was going on? Let me see Um, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on Tay Rock said he wanted to retire You know what I'm saying? This is his last year This is my last year respectfully When he first posted it I didn't really understand why he did it I was like, okay, he has battled everybody. Maybe he getting tired. Maybe he knows something we don't know that URL may be getting the fuck on. But then he been going off about the the, 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 the Cody shit. Um, I'm used to it every year. They do me dirty no matter what. Um, I think they didn't count his uh, one rounder against Feeble or whatever on I Battle, which was one of his better battles. But <clears throat> I don't think Cody be counting one rounder. So, I mean, it is just is what it is. So... I guess Rock is feeling like, I don't know what Rock is really bothered about. They gave away like a kind of like a, like a, uh, an award for like, this was like the first time they ever gave away an award for your career, like a, a battle rap achievement award and Hitman Holler won that. So I don't know if Rock feels like he should have won that, which he, he could have won that too. Like he's very deserving of that. Or the fact that he was like, I think he was number seven on Cody or something. I think Rock was seven. He was under Easy. He was under Chef Trez, under Big K, under, under Twerk. Um, I don't know the whole list right now, but he was he was number seven. I don't know if he should be seven. A part of me felt like he had a little bit better year than that, but I don't know. I'm not mad at Chef Trez, Twerk, Big K. I'm not mad at them niggas. Like them niggas had good years. So Rock is kind of bothered by that situation. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? <clears throat> Miss Hustle. BBL Hustle posted as women 
in a male dominated sport to have all three of us make the Cody list is history. We are breaking barriers. Love to all the women. Now imagine she posted this right because her jazz and coffee was on the Cody list. Shout out to them for being on the Cody list. But jazz was ahead of her. And if you think about jazz being ahead of her, that kind of tells you that jazz is probably the front runner right now to be Wody because she was already ahead of her and Cody. So we'll see it. We'll see how positive she is when she don't win when she don't win Wody. She ain't winning Wody. Remember I told you that Wody shit over with her hustle. BBL hustle. That Wody shit is over with. You ain't winning Wody. I didn't put that call in. You ain't winning Wody. I didn't put that call in. Yeah, I was hating. I was hating. I put that call in. You ain't winning. Oh the who else who else? Who else? Swamp. If I only cared about battle rap that much, boy, ain't no way. Chef Trez, Clean Papers, Stumbles, the two on two. I had Lou Castro. All wins are classics. Um, not saying I should have won, but to not even be on the list. And ain't got Swamp even on the list. <sighs> That's kind of wild right there. He did beat Clean. He did beat Stumbles. And him and Chef Trez won the best battles of the year. And he beat Lou Castro. He didn't even make the list. He did not even make the list. That shit is kind of crazy. And Capo, bro, Capo, Capo from New Orleans. This is what this nigga posted. You gave Big K black skin. You oh you if you give Big K black skin, he doesn't even get recognized for them basic ass raps. He's a, he got the Jeremy Lamb factor, bro. I'm gonna tell you right now, Capo. Big K will smoke your ass, bro. Big K will smoke your ass three zero. I don't give a fuck if he white or not. He will smoke your ass. So basically he's saying that niggas only reacting to Big K raps because he white. So yeah, it's a lot of backlash, man. I feel like uh, I'm not mad at the result. I'm not mad at the result. It's either him or twerk. It's either him or twerk at the end of the day, in my personal opinion. Um, I'm not, I don't have the whole list. I should have grabbed the list before I even did this blog because I don't even know where Danny Myers and some of these other people were on the list. But uh, shout out to everybody, man. But um. It's it's a it's a hard job, man. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't mad. It's hard to do that. It's hard to do this Cody list, man. It is hard. You might be able to find out who's Cody, but it's hard to kind of rank people one through twenty. Like that, that's a hard thing to do. So shotgun Shug didn't make it. Mills, where where, where your niggas at? Mills, you, know, you mad at Shug, JC? They ain't make the list. Shug might have should have made it. I don't know. He had body bag of the year. Oh, they gave out some awards too. Let me read them joints real quick. Battle of the year, they gave it to Hitman Holler versus Ill Will. I like that battle. That's a classic. I like I like that battle. Moment of the year, Glock 40, A Ward. I ain't mad at that. Upset of the year, Jerry West beating DNA. I ain't mad at that. Rookie of the year is Eunice. Um, okay. I, I fuck with it. Uh performance of the year was Twerk in the murder mook battle. So y'all let me know let me know what y'all think. How y'all feel about I don't know who them niggas was that was that was doing Cody though. I, I don't know like the guys. Well, I was, obviously we know let's talk battle rapping them niggas, but I don't know who some of these people that was on the panel last night. But I can't front them niggas. Look like they them niggas seem like they be watching battles though. They seem pretty knowledgeable as far as like watching the battles. But I don't know, man. You know you got people saying that you had two a couple white people on the panel giving a <laughs> giving the giving a Cody to a white person during Black History Month. So, I mean, that's the narrative right now. Let me know what you guys think, man. Like I, like I said, I appreciate y'all fucking with the Meat Rod blog, man. If niggas are Meat Riders, put that hashtag. Uh, what's the slogan? You got to get your meat riding down. That is the new slogan for Meat Riders, man. You got to get your Meat Riders down. Put that on all these niggas, man. Cola, Polo, Bill Collector. It might be some new Meat Riders. This is Meat, meat Riders pop up every day. You know what I'm saying? Meat riders pop up every day. You see, I got these niggas scared to respond to. These niggas petrified, bro. These motherfuckers. Harlem legend. Where that nigga at? Harlem legend don't even want to go live, man. Let, let, hold on. Let me look. Let me look and see if Harlem legend then went live since he posted that bullshit ass live he did with ADEP them. Let me, let me see. What, too real for battle rap? Let me see. Let me. Oh, yeah. That nigga ain't went live. These niggas are scared that, bro, Angry Fan was live today and they was tagging Harlem Legend, calling him a meat rider. <laughs> in a live with Caps today on Instagram, Harlem Legend was not even on Instagram and they was tagging him saying, you gotta get your meat riding down. 
I'll let your boy.